Welcome to Are You Anxious About the Future of Your Business? I'm the entrepreneur's hypnotherapist, Melanie McCool, and in today's Burnout Recovery Masterclass, I'm going to share with you how, after working with more than 500 clinical clients with anxiety, you can overcome, even eliminate anxiety and develop the rich coping skills that will help you to have more success, more money, and more fulfillment in your life as you resist burnout on the road to growing your successful business. Now, anxiety is an incredibly expensive problem. And I'm not just talking about the money that it costs medically, which they estimate to be somewhere around $6,400 a year for anxiety diagnosis. I'm talking about the cost in your business of having anxiety, causing you to have one foot on the brake in your business, keeping you in this cycle of self-sabotage and perhaps procrastination and feeling like you should be further along than you are. Anxiety costs business billions a year. And look, I know there's lots to be stressed about, Okay, we know that if you're running a business, then you're dealing with, well, financial pressures, cash flow, uh, competition, making all the decisions, right? New hires, market uh, pressures, the list goes on and on. But if you don't manage that stress properly, then you can end up with serious mental health issues. And I'm here to help you to roll that back. Uh, to understand that it didn't have to get this far <laughs> and you can absolutely recover. So let's talk a little bit about the difference between just you know dealing with stress and how st unmanaged stress can lead to anxiety. And I'm going to give you my perspective as working a hypnotherapist and dealing with entrepreneurs in burnout. This burnout is this definition of chronic unmanaged work stress, right? And the World Health Organization defines it as a syndrome, a mental health syndrome. And just to give you the symptoms, the first is exhaustion, a mental exhaustion that just really doesn't let up. Even if you, you know, try to get enough sleep or take a break, right? Get Go on that much needed vacation. It's still that weariness that but real mental weariness, everything to do with the changes that are happening in the brain from chronic unmanaged stress. And as it relates to how you relate to your business, they call it feeling a feeling of cynicism. I hear anger, resentment, guilt, shame, and this feeling of real disconnection. This, you know, this business that you started with a fire in your belly to make a change in the world and to have financial freedom is now giving you this overwhelming anxiety, which isn't just stress now, is it? And third, that, uh, that those feelings then lead to a lack of production. I mean, that's the foot on the brake. That's the, the knowing, the knowing that your actions are not as fruitful as they could be. It's impossible to be in peak performance as an entrepreneur, as a human being, if you're dealing with these symptoms, is it not, right? So that's the real cost right there, that lack of production. Now, and as I, as I said, that's the World Health Organization's definition. And then what I see is that all of this leads to those real mental health conditions that are diagnosed mental and physical health diagnoses is like anxiety. So how is anxiety different from just dealing with stress? Because people use this word anxiety like way too often. It's overused. I'm so anxious. Are you actually anxious? Because anxious is a feeling in the body. It kind of hijacks your nervous system, okay? There's a lack of nervous system regulation. <laughs> and it comes because of those changes in the brain from chronic unmanaged stress. And so people describe anxiety as like having this negative forecaster of doom in their head. Uh, the overwhelming 
spinning thoughts about all the what ifs that haven't even happened yet, right? And those thoughts, they may keep you up at night leading to insomnia, which, you know, exasperates this whole cycle. Uh, this nervous system dysregulation just starts to get out of control. And that can lead to things like, well, panic attacks. It being so overwhelmed by situations that you used to have confidence and poise, right? So we see this in people who have, you know, didn't realize how important it was to resist burnout in the first place, to develop the resources and resilience to not succumb to it in the first place. Because at the end of that, with anxiety, insomnia, and then the physical health problems that arise, things that you know people don't necessarily equate with just being stressed out by their job or their work, right? We're talking about autoimmune conditions, diabetes, heart disease, immune system compromise, uh, accelerated aging, lack of libido, hormonal imbalance, weight gain because of it. I mean, we I can go on and on and on. So are you anxious about the future of your business? Is the, the name of this masterclass. I'm here to talk to you about if you're anxious about the future of your business, we've got to, you and I, can get to the root cause of that anxiety and stop the number one source of 24 seven stress that's running. And that is the negative forecaster of doom. Those thoughts that are running through your head. And if you're familiar with what, uh, you know, traditional or I should say mo most people uh, would suggest you do for anxiety. And if you've done all the things my goodness, I can relate, and my clients have too. Uh, and I'm going to suggest that you do all, most of all those things too. So in order to reduce anxiety, we're going to work on ways that you can re-regulate your nervous system, get your you know heart-brain coherence going, and we're going to do that here in a moment. Um we're going to talk about the stressors you have in your external life and how to minimize them. Well, we would definitely be working with things like boundaries and good health habits that would support your body and your mind. But most importantly, we're going to be walk, talking about and working with the thing that runs all of those programs all together. And that's you know, I keep doing this and you may think of, I'm talking about the mind, the brain, and I am, but now you should understand that the program that is actually running all the habits that may have gotten you to this point of being in anxiety and or burnout, right? Those programs are run by the subconscious mind and no amount of conscious work that you may be doing, even if you're working with heart brain coherence that's subconscious with physical or if you're working in meditation right none of that unfortunately is actually going to address what's going on at the level of subconscious and that is the difference maker that's exactly why i've developed my burnout recovery intensive okay and that is a way for you to bounce back from burnout Heal those brain changes in six weeks or less. Let's talk about these brain changes for a moment because I've hinted at them a couple of times and it is actually estimated that burnout brain, I'm gonna, the, the, the same brain changes are associated with anxiety brain. So if you've done any research on this, you're gonna, you're gonna see that we're talking about the same outcome. Burnout brain essentially has your brain working with its fight or flight mechanism, right? The amygdala, right? Your The energy and literally the size of your amygdala grows and shrinks your prefrontal cortex. And I know that sounds awful, 
<laughs> Trust me, when I learned about it first time and I was like, that's what's wrong with my brain. Yeah, that's, this was me years ago. I was like, oh my God. But I also knew, and you should know, the term neuroplasticity. So your brain might be an anxious brain right now, burnout brain, which they say, they say with traditional methods, it can take six to 12 weeks to heal from. And that's if you can take a complete sabbatical from your work, right? If you stopped working altogether. Six to 12 weeks to heal that brain. And so what does it mean to heal that brain? It would mean that you did get your your habits in check so that you were taking care of your body. There was a nervous system regulation that was happening on a daily basis to get yourself back there. Uh, the habits of good mental, physical health were engaged, including regaining your balance, having a uh, an active social life, a, um, you know, a regaining of the things that bring you joy. All of that is required for this brain to heal. And something that the reason why it takes so long in your, is because they don't address what we can do with hypnosis and hypnotherapy. That is the number one source of 24 seven stress that's going on between your own ears. That's the negative forecaster of doom. It's the what ifs that haven't happened. It's those thoughts that keep you awake at night that keep you from sleeping, right? It's the, the thoughts that have you so jumbled up that you don't know what your next right step is. All of that. If you don't address that, my friend, all you're doing is putting some serum for snake bite while you are using the fangs as a straw and sucking that venom through a straw daily. If you don't address the number one source of 24 seven stress that's going on in here, and that's either your conscious thoughts and, or there's a big reason why we work in hypnosis and not just some, you know, conscious stuff. We're working at the level of the subconscious to work with those limiting beliefs, those ones that are running the habits that got you here in the first place, the ones that are running the feelings of, well, perhaps comparisonitis, imposter syndrome, the inner critic yapping at you day by day, all of that stuff. When we address those, you can bounce back in six weeks or less without ever having to take a break from your business. And so, as we're here, I thought we'd do a ex exercise uh, that would help you to give a little bit of insight into what it would be like to work with a hypnotist. Because people have all kinds of, you know, misunderstandings, myths, um, even misgivings, right? We just, I just did a, a fun, fun uh, event at my office. And the question was, can you be hypnotized, right? And so I had all these people walk in into the office in groups and people came up with all, they're like, oh, there are all these like, you know, oh my God, I don't want, I don't know if I want to be hypnotized. I don't know if I want you to take over my brain. I don't know, you know, make me pluck like a chicken. I mean, it's all these really kind of fun, silly things that came up. Um, so I'm going to give you a little insight into what it actually is like to be hypnotized. Uh, and then I want you to perhaps go do a Google search. Go do a Google search for hypnosis for anxiety and, or ask us for a link to the research for hypnosis for anxiety and understand that you can do all the other things, but if you don't address what's going on here at the level of the subconscious mind, you're not going to be able to quickly reverse those brain changes and get yourself back in the game. Get yourself back on track. Get that beautiful creative mind of yours. That's this prefrontal co cortex back on board so that you can make the decisions that actually help you to move your business forward. You can end the cost of anxiety in your business today, starting right now. 
You just have to ask for the solution. And MindWorks is happy to hand it on over, the burnout recovery intensive. You can think of hypnosis as meditation with a goal. And so when you work with the burnout recovery intensive hypnosis package, then you're going to have some real goals of, you know, doing things like sleeping better, remaining calm, developing those great habits for health, right? But today, we're just going to give you some insight into what it's like to be put into hypnosis, the state that's like meditation. Uh, and if you're familiar with what meditation is supposed to feel like, it's a, it's a wonderful relaxed space. And it is a place where we can neutralize the biochemistry of stress very effectively. Uh, so that toxic biochemistry of stress can be, you know, just wiped away for a few hours really effectively. And we're going to do that here in a moment. But what's important to remember is that just meditating or just doing something like our coherence to neutralize the biochemistry of stress, it's a temporary fix. Because remember that sucking the venom <laughs> through the fang thing? As the source of 24-7 stress keeps coming back at you, you've got to have a way to actually develop the mental capacity at the subconscious level. So it becomes a habit of resilience, of resourcefulness, of calm and peace. And we won't be doing all of that today, but it's going to show you what it can feel like to get into that beautiful space where those changes can happen. And just a little bit of insight. You have been listening to me in, well, beta, if we were talking, you've probably slipped in and out of alpha, which is a nice, you know, it's sort of the, I'm listening and learning. It's also a creative space where we get to and listen to music or when we're creating. And then when we're going into our meditation, as I work to help you in hypnosis to come down into that space where this change can happen, we're dropping down further, another level to theta. And theta is right before you go to sleep. And so as I lead you into this short hypnosis session here, know that you won't go to sleep. You'll hear everything that I say. And I'm only going to be giving, the only goal we have here is for you to feel what it's like to be in this place of trance where the changes can be easily made, where you can bring your life around the way that you want it to be. Hey, so I'm not going to have any other hypnotic suggestions for you other than perhaps you learn even more than before about your capacity to learn while you relax. And as this, this is a hypnosis experience, I would ask that if you have any mental health conditions that would prohibit you from being hypnotized, please just don't do this part. Uh, or if you have active epilepsy with seizures, please do not do this, okay? Um, but for everyone else, it's a perfectly safe, healthy, natural space. And I'm going to give you a nice dose of ah, going to take you to that place where your body can just get into restore and renew mode. And you can really get a really lovely dose. It should have you feeling good for a few hours time just long enough to contact us and say, hey, where can I get more of that, <laughs> right? Okay, so with that, if you are ready to go into trance, if you're ready for me to help you to go into trance, just gonna ask you to get comfortable, your arms and legs uncrossed, sit back. And when you're ready and not before, when you're ready to relax, you can take a nice breath in all the way down into your belly, just breathe in. And as you exhale, you can allow your eyes to close right on down, just allowing that relaxation response to kick in because with the eyes closed, it becomes easier and easier for us to relax, to just let go of the outside world, knowing that nobody wants or needs anything at all. You can just relax and focus on the sound of my voice allowing a sense of relaxation to grow with every word that you hear and every breath that you take. 
For a moment, you can focus on the breath. You can take a nice deep breath in all the way down into your belly and let it go slowly. And as you do, you may find that you're sinking more completely relaxed, noticing sometimes more than before the temperature in the room or the way that your back might feel just resting there as you allow yourself to drop down even more relaxed than you were just a moment before. And to help you to relax, you can imagine now that you are standing at the top of five solid steps leading down to a beautiful beach. And the weather is exactly how you like it. As I count you down from five to one, you'll find yourself more and more relaxed and at ease and looking forward to this experience of the beach, a sense of calm coming over you even now. And as you step down from five and four, when you get to one, you'll find yourself stepping out onto that beautiful beach with three. Every number causes you to be more relaxed and at ease, comfortable and secure. Two and one. Just stepping out onto the beach, looking around, you can see what you can see. As you stand there, looking out at the water, perhaps see the colors in the ocean, some birds that are just swirling and whirling around. Take a breath all the way down into your belly, let it go slowly. As you notice that your breathing is slowed and your heartbeat is slowed, because the more you relax, the more your heart slows down. The more your heart slows down, the more you can relax. And just listening to the sound of the waves crashing on the beach. And taking a breath in, that wonderful sea air, and the wind on your skin. And just for a while, you can know that all is well. All is well. Feeling more relaxed and at ease than you felt in a long, long time. Knowing it's okay to feel good. That's right. Now in a moment, not before you're ready, but in just a moment's time, you'll turn around and walk right back up those stairs and come back into your red everyday wakeful awareness. You'll come back feeling good, alert, aware of your surroundings and feeling like you've had a nice long nap. Like you can accomplish whatever it is that you have set to do as you open your eyes. So just one more time, just breathing down into your belly and letting it go slowly, allowing these wonderful relaxation effects to make their way to every cell of your being. Just allowing that wonderful feeling of being on the beach, the sun on your skin. Just a warm and relaxed 
wonderful feeling that goes with you, it stays with you. And now you can turn, walking back to the steps. As I count you up to five, you'll come all the way back, feeling fantastic. Ready? Press one and two. Wiggling those fingers and toes. With three, you can take a nice deep breath up behind your eyes, invigorating your brain. With four and five, all the way back now. Fantastic. All right. Now how are you feeling now? So in that brief demonstration, I'll just continue to give a little explanation. What we did was I kind of put you into that state of meditation, that place of restore and renew. And it does, it neutralizes the biochemistry of stress. Uh, it actually increases your immune system. It's anti-aging. It starts to regulate those stress hormones, cortisol that mess with your libido and everything else. <laughs> and it is, it's like a, a balm to the nervous system. And over time, uh, given this practice and the other practices that I give our burnout recovery clients to regulate the nervous system, you'll find that uh, you feel significantly better. Like you have a way, the resources to just deal with anything that life has to <laughs> throws at you. The next thing that we, we do and we must do, which we didn't accomplish in this short session, is the elimination of the source of anxiety. So I mentioned the negative forecaster of doom, right? All the what ifs that haven't happened yet. Imposter syndrome, comparisonitis, feeling like you should be further along than you are, the inner critic, all of those things. Even just the straight up, you know, fears and you know, of and lack of confidence that might come up sometimes, right, as an entrepreneur, all of that can be done in that beautiful relaxed state. So just to be really clear, hypnosis is not just meditation. And the hypnosis that I provide for my clients is specific for entrepreneurs dealing with insomnia, anxiety, lack of self-care, boundary issues, all of the you know, the other, the imposter syndrome, comparisonitis, inner critic things, all of that, that I have seen in more than 500 clients. And it works a charm. <laughs> As what we do there is we're going to actually help you to bounce back, to get rid of the anxiety uh, and to do that in six weeks or less with Without having to take a sabbatical. There's no need for you to step out of your business when you have this level of support. And so I'm going to ask you to reach out to us to learn what the burnout recovery intensive package looks like for you, because there are different options. And depending on where you're at and what's going on in your health and in your business for that matter, uh, there are different ways that we can support you. And so if you'd like to eliminate anxiety, right, resist or overcome burnout and never have it play a part in your business ever again, have more success, more money and more fulfillment in your life and it be fast, easier than you thought possible. Essentially, by doing a little bit more of what I just had to do, relaxing, <laughs> learning with your eyes closed is so much easier than all of the conscious learning you've been trying to do. Your solution for success in your business has everything to do with your mastering the subconscious mind. And so I'll leave you with this. You are far more powerful than you've been led to believe. When you master the subconscious, you can lead an epic life. You can manage these issues in a way that is really the uncommon secret to success. And I love to be your guide.
I'm Melanie McCool, the Entrepreneur's Hypnotherapist, and I look forward to helping you to recover from burnout, bounce back stronger than ever before. So if you'd like to know more about our Burnout Recovery Intensive Hypnosis Package, just reach out and we'll make sure that you have all the details that you need to make a decision and you can be on your way and faster than you ever thought possible. Thank you.